Amen. Welcome to First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We're still celebrating 40 years of leadership with the Apostle Pastor Gina Jennings. Tomorrow we'll be right here again at 11 a.m. and again at 5 p.m. On April 20th to 21st, God willing, Pastor Jennings should be in Pine Bush, New York for their uh, dedication services there. And uh, April 27th to 28th, we'll be in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, um, Pennsylvania. There's a national brotherhood prayer that occurs every Monday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. There is a fasting and prayer which takes place the first Monday of each month. Brothers can choose the time that works best for them on the day of fasting. The next brotherhood, the, the next national brotherhood fast day is Monday, May 6, 2024. Those who plan to participate, please remember the body of Christ and Pastor Jennings in prayer. For those living in the five boroughs and surrounding areas, we have a branch temple of First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ in the Bronx at Lehman College, 250 Bedford Park Boulevard, Bronx, New York. So don't stay home and say you have nowhere to go. Amen? Amen. We have a branch temple in the Bronx at Lehman College, 250 Bedford Park Boulevard. Amen? Amen. Continue to keep one another in prayer, ministerial brothers, sick, sheltered, and the body. This concludes the announcements for today back in the hands of Brother Henry. That will conclude this part of the service. We act at the point that you put your phone on vibrate or silent so it doesn't deserve the main part of the, the service. Also, we thank God for another opportunity to worship him in spirit and truth. And now I'd like to introduce our New York minister, Minister Roger Coles. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank Almighty God for the word that he sent through the holy prophets and holy apostles of old. Certainly thank God in these last and evil days for our leader, teacher and guide, and general overseer, Apostle Gino Jennings. We certainly thank God for all the ministers that are here and those that are not here that labor in sound doctrine. Certainly thank God for the church, which is the body, which is the people of God. We certainly thank God for our elderly fathers and our elderly mothers that came on out. We thank God for our brothers and sisters that are here. If you're here for the first time, we welcome you to the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ, where nothing but the truth is being told. And the truth, is his word. We believe what's written. Our God is not a man. Our God is the creator of, of all things. Those of you that are breathing today and you're still alive, it's by God's mission. All of you that think that you're tough, you're nothing. Huh? We're here to tell you that. We want you to humble yourself and come before God Almighty and know who he is. Many say they know who he is, but if you don't know his word, you don't know who he is. Those of you that are here today, it was meant for you to be here, to hear the word of God. And those of you that reject God's word, the same word you reject shall condemn you. Because you can't say you didn't know. 
To much is given, much is required. Hallelujah to God. Our God, we don't represent no religion. We're not Christianity at all. We only represent what God told us to be, and that's holiness. We thank God that we're still in the land of the living because so many are gone. When it's our time, we want to die in Christ, not without him. So I want you to get your ears open tonight when the apostle preaches God's everlasting word. I want you to have your ears open. And I want you to receive it with love that you will give up because the word will break up your folly ground and many of us got folly. We're so grateful to be in the wicked city of New York. Huh? My God is it. Belly of the beast. All kind of things walking. My God, but uh, the truth of God has invaded New York. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Before I introduce the apostle, I want to hear some words from our minister, Mark. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings. Give, the, give the highest honors, the highest praise to our Lord Jesus Christ, the one true living God. There is no other God besides him. There is no other God equal to him. And I thank him for sending the holy prophets and the holy apostles. I thank him for our current leader and teacher in God, Apostle Gino Jennings. I thank God for the church. I thank God for the way of holiness, the perfect way that God has outlined in the scriptures. I truly thank God for his word and his mercy. When I heard God's, and he delivered me, I can never thank him enough for giving me another chance, hope. You know, I thank God for the men of God because when I heard of him, you see, I thank God because when I heard the message, I was in distress, you know. Um, God delivered me. I was in the streets selling drugs living a life, I didn't care about nothing. Just doing what I wanted to do, how I wanted to live, and when God interrupted my life, I can never thank him enough because when I heard the man of God, you see, I heard of him, it was in prison. You see, it was in prison. You see, I was locked up facing 17 and a half years. And I heard the message. And I said, this is that. <laughs> this is that right there. That message kept me all those years that I was locked up, listening to the same DVDs that I was in prison, the same ones, just going back and listening all over, all over again. And I thank God for his mercy. I came home. And God opened up the door for me to still be here and still holding on to his word. Yes, Just pray my strength in the Lord as I pray for you all. Thank you. So you see, God can do all things. And now the moment that you've been waiting for. The message of the Almighty God, yes. Apostle Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings. We thank the one true living God once again for blessing us to be back in New York again. As always, we thank him 
for being the one true living God. He have no partners, he have no rivals. He have no associates. And truly the God of heaven have no equals. God is alone by himself. He created all things for himself. To all of you that are here thus far, we thank you for being present to all of our ministers, to the millions that are watching. Uh, the venue down here, uh, I guess it's convenient for some, but I guess to me is a lot of inconvenience because I'm so used to people having places to park. I spoke in New York many a time, but first time in Times Square. I done saw Mickey Mouse, I saw Grover. <laughs> I saw Spider-Man, I saw Batman. I saw Bumblebee, I saw Optimus Prime. I told my wife, wouldn't it be something if they come in here just, just like that? <laughs> well, we thank them because the word of the Lord is reaching everybody. And everybody who wants to be right, God is giving them a chance. Um, there's many that are still coming in probably having the same difficulty as others because here in New York, I guess this is considered what, East Harlem? No. Southeast? No. Just Times Square. So what part of New York would you consider this? Manhattan? Midtown? Midtown Manhattan. Now, uh, what we want to do next year, because see, I want to get right in the heart of Harlem. That's what I want. So we see now that we have to plant like, plan practically a year in advance. Uh, so we're gonna do that for next year because I want to get in the heart of Harlem, New York. There's a lot of good souls there. Well, it's good souls everywhere, but it's a lot of history in Harlem. I mean, a whole lot of history. There's a big area where a lot of big people been on the scene and then passed. Harlem is the headquarters of Bishop R.C. Lawson. Harlem was the former false prophet Sweet Daddy Grace. Harlem was the renowned poet Lingston Hughes. And the different singers like Ella Fitzgerald and Billie Holiday and of course militant Malcolm X. Well, holiness wants to come in Harlem and just disrupt everything. Amen. There are many churches and many forms of religion that have planted their feet in New York. And religion is part of the problem or the contributing problem to people being confused today. Folks don't know what to be. I often advise people, be whatever God is. If you be what God is now, you can't go wrong. If you try to be what somebody else may be, well, you're liable to go wrong or be misled wrong. Because some religions are built based upon race, based upon color. But if you be what God tell you to be, God won't look at your skin. God will look at your obedience. Because you can be black as night, white as snow, or yellow as a school bus, or if possible, clear as water. 
But if you have not yet obeyed God and Jesus Christ is he, then the color that you are have no relevance. I want to work on today Jew and Gentile. What is a Jew? That's two different kinds. What is a Gentile? There are two different kinds. Your natural Jew, Jew descended from Abraham. God told Abraham to walk before me and be thou perfect. perfect. Then he laid a law to Abraham, mm -hmm. a circumcision law. That's right. We want to take our time and go through this, mm -hmm. dissect it. I'm pretty sure the internet, many of the Jewish brothers and sisters of all colors, ears are perked listening like one woman prophesied and said the Lord told her that I was a man of God first <laughs> she said the Lord told her to call me Pastor Jennings a man of God that's what she started off saying and then she said the Lord told her because I have an international powerful platform that I'm obligated to tell everybody that's black you're a Jew. She said the Lord told her to tell me to tell the people this. I came back over the air and told her God ain't told you to tell me nothing. Right then, her spirit of prophecy changed. She came right back over the air. She said, you know, saints, now the Lord told me, don't call him Pastor Jenna, just call him Gino. <laughs> Since when did God move on someone to bring a prophecy to someone real, and then God changed his mind? Being a Jew, coming from the descendants of Abraham, right. I want to explain this, and I want to explain being a Jew spiritually. I want to explain what is a Gentile, and what is a Gentile spiritually. Follow me in your Bible. To all of you that are watching, we're glad to come back in your homes again so we can wreck it. <laughs> Tell your pastor to tune in. I'm pretty sure that many of you are going to have your podcast tonight. Taking shots like you love to do. Not that I mind, because there are so many over the social media who may not get no views, but when they post my name on their program, people want to come and see what are they saying. And let me say to all of the Truth of God viewers, I'm repeating myself now. Whatever any man or any woman say over social media, talking about the church, they can call me an antichrist, false prophet, racist. Let them call me whatever they want. Never get into an argument with nobody's program. They are doing it for ratings. Even they know. They really can't attract nobody, so sometimes they'll post my name just to get viewers. But don't call in, don't respond in, just because that's what they want you to do. No, you are supposed to be occupied, too busy, trying to do what God wants you to do. This is what Jesus said about the false prophets. Let them alone. I'm alone. If the blind lead the blind, both. they're both. Thank God, fall into the ditch. All right, let's start off. I want to go through this now from Old Testament to New. 
So I want you to hear me and follow me. Are you ready? Help the Lord, Pastor. All right, here, help you. Let's get the law of circumcision with Abraham, mm -hmm. and then we will explain the law of circumcision right. from a natural and then a spiritual perspective. That's right, Pastor. All right, follow me and hear me good. Now we're in the book of Genesis, chapter 17. Let me 17. just loosen up a little so I can box real good with Bible here. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's have it. Genesis chapter 17, we're going to start reading in verse 9. Yes. And God said unto Abraham. God. God. Jehovah. Yah. <laughs> Elohim. <coughs> That's I right. am That's that right. I am. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. Man. The creator. Go ahead. The father. That's right. The light. That's it. The Lord God of heaven and earth. That's right. God the Father. The eternal spirit. Yes. The spirit of Christ. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Hear this now. And God said unto Abraham. He that have no beginning and no ending. That's it. He that is without father, without mother, have no relatives, no descent. That's right. He's the ancient of days. He That's is right. before time, and he introduced time, mm -hmm. and he lived past time. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. What is it? And God said unto Abraham. God said to Abraham. Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore. Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore. Thou. Thou. And thy seed after thee. And your seed after thee. In their generation. And their generation. This is my covenant which ye shall keep. This is my covenant that you shall keep. Between me and you and thy seed after thee. Yes. Every man shall among hear this, you. Hear this. Hear this. Amen. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. Shall be circumcised. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin. Yes. And it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. It shall be a you. token of the covenant of the promise of the pact. Betwixt me and you. Abraham, between me and you. And he that is eight days old. He that is eight days old. Shall be circumcised among shall you. Shall be circumcised among you. Every man child in your Every generation. Every man child of your generation. He that is born in the house. And then look at here. He that's born. In the house. In the house. Or bought with money of any stranger. That got slavery. Or he that is bought. Bought with money. That's Gentile. That's right. The covenant coming to a Jew from heaven. That's right. But the covenant don't change for Jew or Gentile concerning law of circumcision. Wh whoever. Whoever. Come in Abraham's house. Every man child. Glory to God. Whoever you are. That's right. Jew or Gentile. That's right. Bond or free. Mm -hmm. If you come into Abraham's house, Amen. you have to be circumcised. That's right. Uh -huh. Every man child in your generation. Every man child in your generation. He that is born in the house. He that's born in the house. Or bought with money of any stranger. Bought with money of any stranger. Which, which is none of thy seed. Oh. Which is not related to Abraham according to the flesh. That's right. That's right. According to the flesh. Which is not of thy seed. Not of thine seed. You didn't come from that bloodline. That's right. But it didn't matter mm -hmm. if you go into Abraham's house, one law, glory to God. That's right. One rule. That's right. That the Jew and the Gentile must obey. He that is born in the house. He that's born in the house. Or bought with money of any stranger. Or bought with money. Any stranger. Any. Any stranger. You can be Greek. Mm. Italian. Gypsy. That's right. White. Yes. Polish. That's right. Russian. Hispanic. I don't care what color you are. That's right. If you fall under the category of stranger. Stranger. That's, that's right. bought with money. Money. That's right. Then uh, you fall under the category of slave. He that is born in thy house. Gentile. That's right. Stranger. Stranger. 
foreigner. That's right. Do you get me now? That's right. All right, come on now. I want to take my time and just take this apart here. <laughs> Amen. All right? He that is born in thy house. Pay attention good. Genesis chapter 17, now we're at verse 13. Here you had Abraham. Mm-hmm. Earned for himself the title Father of Faith. Father of Faith. God tested his faith by offering up the son Isaac. That's right. Truly, God provided a ram in the bush. That's right. And God has never stuck. Hmm. He challenged you and see what you do, what he said you ought to do, and he already know what you're going to do in advance. Hmm. And uh, Ishmael... Glory to Glory. his brother. That's right. You better read that. Yes. I want to certify as I go. Ishmael, Amen. the son of Hagar, and Isaac, the son of Sarah, one from the bondwoman, the other from the free woman. That's right. Ishmael began the glory about how he was circumcised. That's right. And began to brag to his brother Isaac. That's right. And uh, being circumcised, and then Isaac responded that if my father mm -hmm. will want me to be offered. That's right. Didn't he say so? Yes. And being offered before God, the Bible says the Lord heard it. That's right. That's why you better be careful what come out of your mouth. In the book of Genesis, in the book of Jasher chapter 21. Read quick, son. Jasher chapter 21 and read verse 11. Follow me. And Ishmael, the son of Abraham, was Ishmael, grown up. Ishmael, the son of Abraham, was, was grown, grown up in up those days. In those days. He was 14 years old 14 when Sarah bear Isaac to Abraham. In those days. Uh -huh. And God was with Ishmael, the son of Abraham. Yes. And he grew up and he learned to use the bow and became an archer. Yes. And when Isaac was five years old, he was sitting with Ishmael at the door of the tent. Then what? And Ishmael came to Isaac and seated himself opposite to him. Yes. And he took the bow and drew it and put the arrow in it. Yes. And intended to slay Isaac. Yes. And Sarah saw the act which Ishmael desired now, to do to his son Isaac. I want to get to the point of being circumcised and the confrontation between him and his brother. That's right. Now, one was glorying over circumcision. And then Isaac, he began to brag like many do now. But the Bible says God heard it. That's right. And when God heard it, God spoke to Abraham, offer up your son Isaac. That's right. Your only son. Now, can you imagine if God tell you to do that today? Could you do it? Now, some people will say yes because their son is so hard headed They'd be glad to throw him on the altar <laughs> and, if possible, nail him down to the altar. In the book of Jasher, chapter 22. All right, son, you better read quick now. Jasher, chapter 22, and at verse 42. That's what? And Ishmael boasted himself to Ishmael Isaac. Ishmael boasts himself to Isaac. Saying, I was 13 years old. Oh, I was 13 years old. When the Lord spoke when the to Lord my father to circumcise to my father, us. To concerning me, to circumcise us. And I did according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke to my father. Yes. And I gave my soul unto the Lord. Yes. And I did not transgress his word, which he commanded my father. Uh -huh. And Isaac answered Ishmael. And said what? Saying, why boast thou to me about why this? Why are you boasting? About this. About this. About a little bit of thy flesh. Oh. Look at the way Isaac looked at it. That's right. What are you boasting for about a little bit of your flesh? Which thou didst take from thy body. That you took from your body. Concerning which the Lord commanded thee. Then what? And the Lord liveth the God of my father Abraham. If the Lord should say uh -oh, unto my uh -oh. father. You know, that's the way some folks are. You brag and they feel as though they got to say something bigger than you. That's right. Figure they got to get one up on you. That's right. Listen at this. Give chapter and verse. Joshua chapter 22 and read verse 44. Follow me. As the Lord liveth the God of my father Abraham. As the Lord lives the God, the of, God my of my father Abraham. father Abraham. If the Lord should say unto my the father. the Lord shall say to my father. Take now thy son Isaac. Take your son Isaac. And bring him up an offering before me. Bring him up an offering before me. I would not refrain, but I would joyfully accede to it. Then what? And the Lord heard the word. What? The Lord heard the word. You better be careful what come out of your mouth. That's right. 
You got one that's listening to everything. That's right. And uh, it may sound good to him. Yes. Bible says, and the Lord heard it. And the Lord heard the word that Isaac spoke to Ishmael. And what? And it seemed good in the sight of the Lord. And he thought to try Abraham in this matter. You see that? Amen. So you better be careful what come out of your mouth because God may enjoy it. <laughs> That's right. And may bring it to pass, but you may not enjoy it if it come to pass. That's right. All right, let's go back to coming to Abraham's house. I want to take my time and follow me. Back in Genesis 17 and verse 12. Yes. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. He that is eight you. days old shall be circumcised among you. Every man, child in your Every generation. Every man, child in your generation. He that is born in the house or bought with money of any stranger which is not of thy seed. Yes. He that is born in thy house and he that is bought with thy money. Yes. Must needs be circumcised. Must needs. Amen. Must needs be circumcised. It was a necessity. That's right. For Jew and stranger. That's right. To be circumcised. And my If covenant. you come under that roof, the moment you come under that roof, you come under a existing covenant that governs that house. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. That's the way it is now. Oh, yes. The moment you come to God's house, mm -hmm. you come under a existing covenant that's right of being <laughs> circumcised that's right what do you mean inside or out god wants you to be circumcised now, now. out on the inside that's right let's get some bibles out romans chapter 2 and verse 28 hear this Romans chapter 2 and verse 28. Hear this. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly. He is not a Jew which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But what? But he is a Jew. Where? Which is one inwardly. You see? The apostle Paul's preaching two types of circumcision. That's right. And the effect is different. That's right. You see, you can be circumcised outwardly and still be of the devil. <laughs> Amen. In fact, you can be circumcised outwardly and go to hell. That's right. Don't respect God's covenant. Don't respect God's law because your heart never changed. That's it. Now, God wants the heart. That's the right. The Bible even says circumcise the heart. That's right. Circumcise the heart. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 4. You better read quick, son. Jeremiah chapter 4, and we're at verse 4. Says what? Circumcise yourselves to the Circumcise Lord. Circumcise yourselves unto the Lord. And take away the foreskin. Take away the foreskin. Of your heart. What? Take away the foreskin. I want you to stay ahead of me. Yes. Throughout this whole thing, we're going to take apart here. Amen. God want foreskin. That's right. From your heart of to heart. be removed. That's right. You know, if the man child have his foreskin off his body removed, that's good. Yes. Having the foreskin off your heart is better. That's right. Because that's hard. That's right. See, the removing of the foreskin of the heart is crushing the stony heart. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 36. See, when, when, when you have not yet been circumcised, thank God of the heart, yeah. you have a stony heart, a stubborn heart. That's right. You see, God come along and made the law of circumcision according to the flesh, removed the foreskin off the flesh. Now, and of course, whoever removed it have to have a very sharp instrument. That's right. And they must know what they're doing. Oh, yes. Huh? Amen. If not, why, well, you will bleed out. Oh, yes. Now, God get a spiritual priest. That's right. Glory to God. That take the two-edged sword of the word. That's it. And go right for the heart. That's right. And he also use a hammer. Oh, yes. To break up the stubbornness, the self-will, and the hardness of of the heart. That's right. You better give me the book of Ezekiel. And, in, in Ezekiel. and then we'll go back to Jeremiah. In Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 26. There's so much coming to my mind, so it's very important you follow me to the letter. That's right. Get this. Ezekiel 36 and verse 26. Yeah, man. A new heart also will I give you. A new heart. Hmm. New heart. See, a new heart is a heart that's been circumcised. That's right. 
And God said, A new heart also will I give you. A new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit. And a new spirit. Will I put within you. Will I put in you. And I will take away the stony heart. What? I will take away the stony heart. The stony heart is a heart that have not been circumcised, but is a heart whose foreskin is stubbornness by nature. That's right. You see, everybody that's born, everybody is born with a foreskin over their heart. That's everybody. Right. Everybody. Thank God, Jew and Gentile. Jew and Gentile. Is born into the world with a stony heart. That's right. Some religions teach that uh, black people are God's people by nature. Everybody is born in the world with sin. That's right. And shaped into iniquity. And, iniquity. and the black, the white, the brown, the yellow, and the red all have the same heart because everybody got to come under one covenant. That's right. Whether you're a stranger or whether you come from the seed of Abraham, and God wants your heart to get right. That's it. A new heart. What? A new heart. Hallelujah to God. Also will I give I, you. I want to dissect this. Amen. A new heart. Also will I give you. If a black man don't have a new heart, he's of the devil. That's right. If a white man don't have a new heart, why well, he's of the devil. Amen. If that black man don't have a new heart, he's going to justify remarriage and divorce. He's going to justify living together, not married. Yeah. He's going to rob. He's going to steal. He's going to rape. He's going to do everything just like his white counterparts. <laughs> That's right. Because they have the same heart. That's right. Now That's do right. you get me? Amen. You see a white man out there cussing, a black man out there cussing. White man out there raping, black man out there raping. Why? Their heart have not yet been circumcised. That's right. Huh? That's right. Glory to God, glory to God. A new heart. You that's back there in the sound booth, kind of turn me up a little bit more. Just Amen. Crack me up. Just crack me up a little bit louder now. Amen. Glory to God. Come on, son. A new heart also. Wait a minute. Will I wait give a minute. You. What kind of heart? A new heart. Oh, glory to God. Do you hear this? A new heart. You can be black as night with a full beard and dreadlocks in your hair. That's right. And lying and swearing and dancing and stealing dis different men, wives, That's raping right. and homosexual and everything else. That's right. Because your heart has not yet been circumcised. That's right. And you can have locks in your hair. Here, here, here. There was a synagogue here in New York that had an underground tunnel. And uh, the police raided the synagogue, and in the underground tunnel, they found mattresses Lord. soaked with blood. My Lord. It was a place where they could bring women through. Mm. They found chains. My Lord. Handcuffs where they can roll you underneath the sin of God and do what they will. Oh. You see, the Bible talks about the sin of God of Satan. Of Satan, that's right. Sin of God is another word for temple. That's right. Temple is another word for house. That's right. House, another word for house is your tabernacle. Your body is the temple or the tabernacle of the living God. That's right. And for God to do what he wants with your body, with your house, with your tabernacle, with your temple, he need his, he need his mighty hand yes. to reach your heart because your heart is dirty. Dirty, that's right. Your heart is unclean. That's right. Your heart is wrong. That's right. And when your heart is wrong, it needs to get right and and they use one tool. That's it. A two-edged sword. Two-edged sword. You know, you, you, you circumcise the heart. Thank God by using a two-edged sword. That's right. You can't miss. That's right. <laughs> two edges. Two edges. You know, every man can't use a razor on his face. Yeah. Because of his skin. I use a razor. When my father was living, he was an old-timer. Use that one blade. Mm -hmm. Or many old timers just used the one blade, you know, the kind of switch blade. They was able to shave with that, you know, shave good. Well, I use now the disposable razors, have about five razors on it. Mm. And many times I shave so close, 
The man can bear witness. You can nick your face and don't even know it. That's right. Because your blade is so sharp, you don't know it until you get little spots of blood. That's right. Well, brother, it's not sharper than God's word. No, no. All right, let's see. Amen. Listen at the book of Ezekiel closely. I want everybody listening to hear me well. Ezekiel 36 and verse 26. Follow me. This is a good lesson here. A new heart also will I give you. A new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I'm going to give you a new spirit will I put in you. And I will take away the stony heart. This is of a necessity. That's right. Because you're coming in Abraham's God house. That's right. This house is Abraham's God house. Oh, yes. See, we worship the God of Abraham. God of Abraham. Huh? That's right. And the Bible says the mountain of the Lord house shall be established in the top of the mountain and shall be exalted above the hill all and all nations shall flow unto it. Unto it. And many shall say, come ye. Come ye. Come ye. And let us go, let up, us go up to the mountain of the to Lord. To the mountain of the Lord. To, to the, the house, house of the God of Jacob. Listen, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of Abraham his ways. Abraham is Jacob's grandfather. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. And he will teach us of his ways. That's the only ways, them the only lessons, hmm. them the only teaching. Right. That's the only doctrine that's, right. that's supposed to come out of God's house. That's right. God's ways. And he will teach us of his ways. Yeah, 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 good. Amen. No preacher, no rabbi, no imam, no nobody. Nobody. Is allowed to bring their ways in God's house. That's right. Only thing that's come out of God's house is God's ways, not your bishop. No. Not your so-called apostle. That's right. Not your prophet. Certainly not your reverend. Amen. Not at all your old woman preacher. No, no. Am I right, I said? That's right. Who ways? And he will teach us of his ways. You hear that? Amen. We will he, 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 he. What? He. he. You see, Jacob's God is only one. That's right. Abraham God is one. That's right. He will teach us of his ways. And we will walk in his path. And we will walk in his path. For out of For Zion, out of Zion shall go forth the law. Shall go forth the law. And the word, and the word, of, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Go back to Ezekiel. Back in Ezekiel Then we had go back to Jeremiah. Amen. And then we had go back to Abraham. That's right. Follow me. Ezekiel 36 and verse 26. Yes. A new heart also will I give you. Now hear this. Amen. A new heart also will I give you. God want to give man a new heart. A new heart. A new heart. When you get a new heart, that get rid of all love towards sinful things. That's right. Did you hear me? That's right. You see, God says the heart is the most deceitful thing deceitful and thing. desperately wicked. That's why God wants to circumcise the heart That's right. to disconnect your love from the world, your love from the street, your love from the religion and the sayings of men. That's right. This is why outward circumcision is not enough. It's not enough. Glory to God. That's Are you truth. listening to me? That's right. There's a lot of men out there, yeah. hear me, hear me well, that have been circumcised outwardly. Mm -hmm. And they're raping today. That's right. Why? That's Heart right. haven't been touched yet. Circumcision is nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 19. Listen at the Apostle Paul. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 19. That's why a lot of uh, Jews say oh, Apostle Paul was not a Jew. Listen, Paul declared. Circumcision yeah. is Pastor Paul declared he was a Hebrew. That's right. Of the Hebrew. Of the Hebrew. He was more of a Hebrew than anything is today. Amen. Came true. out of the first tribe That's right. that ever gave Israel a king. Circumcised the, the tribe day. of Benjamin. Listen at Brother Paul's testimony. In the book of Philippians chapter 3, we'll start at verse 4. Said what? Though start at verse 3. At verse 3. Real quick. For we are the circumcision. Well, what? We are the circumcision. <laughs> We are. We are the circumcision. Well, Paul was circumcised both ways. That's right. Naturally, because he came out of the tribe of Benjamin. Spiritually, because he was filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue That's as right. the Spirit of God gave utterance. Naturally, the natural instrument got a hold of his natural body. Spiritually, the eternal God got a hold of his heart. That's right. You see, this proves what I say. Mm -hmm. You can be a Jew circumcised outwardly, outwardly and still be of the devil. That's right. 
for Paul was a Jew, came out the tribe of Benjamin, yeah. but look at the way he was. He was breathing out threatenings. Threatenings and slaughter. Who this old Benjamite the was. Benjamite. Breathing out threatening and slaughter, slaughter against the disciples of the Lord. Against the disciples of the Lord, he made havoc. He of the made church. havoc of the people and hailing men and women and causing them to blaspheme and That's even right. murder some. That's right. But glory to God, when God circumcised his heart, oh yeah, he declared, "I obtained mercy." That's right. Huh? That's right. And this is why. This is why he was able to say, circumcision, profit of nothing. We'll get that, but let's get his testimony first. Now in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 3. Listen at for this. For we are the circumcision. We are. We are. We are the circumcision. Which worship God in the spirit. What? Which worship God in the spirit. Oh, this is how we worship God now. In the spirit. You can read the Torah, the Old Testament from day to night. That's if right. you don't have the spirit of God in you, your worship That's is in vain. That's right. Eh? That's right. What did he say? Which worship, Which God, worship in spirit, God in spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus. Rejoice in Christ Jesus. And have no confidence. Have no confidence. In the flesh. Neither do I. That's right. That's right. Don't criticize me, but I have no confidence. <laughs> no confidence in the flesh. A man come to me with dreadlocks, a long beard. That's why many logging on now and uh, quoting the scripture. There's a Hebrew Israelite. I don't know who he is. He, he always uh, make a statement on every broadcast. That Pastor Jen is the kingdom of God and the judgment of God is coming upon you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> The great Jehovah is not with you. All right. All right. You're going to burn in hell with all the Elamites. All right. My now, Lord. when you're done, you know what you're going to do? You're going to come back and obey this gospel here. That's right. What's written? That's right. Huh? That's right. Who? Everybody. Everybody. Oh, it be to God. I want every black, white, mm. brown, yellow, red to get this. You see, holiness is not locked in a racial barrier. No, no. We crush all the barriers. That's right. And we crush it with Bible. That's right. And I want everybody to know, Mr. White Man, Mr. White Man, Mr. White Man. Yeah. Your whiteness have no superiority. No. Mr. Black Man, your blackness no, no. is not inferior. That's right. White man, if you think you're better, use a white liar and a fool. That's right. Black man, if you think you're lesser, you are deceived and you're a fool. That's right. God made man in his image. In his image. And in his likeness. And the black and the white and the brown and the yellow got to come on and obey this. That's right. Now look closely at Paul's testimony. Now in Philippians chapter 3 at verse 4. Follow me real good. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh. I might. I might. I might. I might. I might. Have confidence oh, in the flesh. Also have confidence in the flesh. If any other man thinketh that he hath whereof. He might trust in the flesh I more. Yes. Circumcised the eighth day. Look at Paul giving his testimony. Circumcised the and eighth you day. Know, I obeyed the same covenant that was given to Abraham. That's right. That's the eighth right. day, the male had to be circumcised. That's right. Paul let you know you can't you can't leave me out. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Anybody can come along and try to discredit Paul. You're of the devil. Of the devil. Pastor Paul says, circumcised. Circumcised the eighth day. The eighth day. Of the stock of Israel. I was up there. I'm the stock of Israel. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Now, Israel have some good and bad stock. That's right. That's right. Yes, Israel have good and bad stock. Oh, yes. Meaning you got some from Abraham's seed according to the flesh that respect the God of Abraham. That's right. And you have some of Abraham's seed according to the flesh to the that flesh. have no respect for the God of Abraham. I don't know why I seem like I'm going in and out. Yeah. Yeah, man, but see, can you stabilize it back there? I don't want nothing to interfere with this message of God. Absolutely, I don't. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Amen. This is of a necessity. Oh, yes. Amen. This is needful. Oh, yes. Because many are fighting each other over the color of skin. That's an old fight. It's an old fight. Amen. And that's a very old fight. That's right. All right. Come on, son. Circumcised the eighth day. Circumcised the eighth day. Of the stock of Israel. Of the stock of Israel. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the tribe of Benjamin. And Hebrew of the Hebrews. Listen to that testimony. And Hebrew of the Hebrews. He let you know if anybody's a Hebrew, I am. That's right. I'm a Hebrew of the Hebrew. As touching the law, a Pharisee. 
touching the law. A Pharisee. I'm a Pharisee. I'm not a Sadducee. That's right. Being that I'm a Pharisee, that means I believe in the spirit world. That's right. Uh -huh. Concerning zeal. Concerning zeal. Persecuting the church. Oh, I had a whole lot of zeal. I was so zealous, I was a murderer. That's right. Uh -huh. Touching the righteousness which is in the law. What? Blameless. Blameless. But what things were gained to me? What things were gained to me? Those I counted lost for Christ. You see that? That's it. He right. ignored the ethnic side of him. That's right. And said he counted all loss. loss. These things I counted loss These for Christ. These things, everything he testified about. That's right. He looked at it as worthless. And I counted all things I but count loss. All things but what? But loss. But loss. For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, that, my Lord. That's what you better do. Oh yes. Amen. Yeah, everybody better count everything lost to get the knowledge of the excellency of Jesus Christ. That's right. So here is a man that testified he was circumcised. Circumcised. And now he began to operate or preach and teach under the inspiration of the God of Abraham. And look at what he said now, about circumcision. Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, we'll start at verse 18. Yes. Is any man called being circumcised? Listen, listen, listen. Is any you man begin called? At verse 17. We'll begin at verse 17. Chapter and verse. First Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 17. Yes. But as God hath distributed to every man. As God hath made distribution to every man. As the Lord hath called everyone. As the Lord hath called everyone. So let him walk. So let him walk. And so ordain I in all churches. So ordain I in all churches. In every church. Is any man called being circumcised? Is anybody called being circumcised? Let him not become uncircumcised. Let him not become uncircumcised. Is any called in uncircumcision? Is any called in what? In uncircumcision. In uncircumcision. Let him not be circumcised. Now hold it. Hmm. I better take this apart. Take that apart. And dissect this. Listen at this. Is any man called being circumcised? Now the Bible says the Lord have spoken. That's right. And I've called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Right. So the apostle asks a question. Is any man, is any man called, called being circumcised? Being circumcised. Let him not become uncircumcised. Don't go back. That's it. That's it. Don't go back to the way you was. That's right. If God call you to righteousness, righteousness. you that are circumcised, mm -hmm. he says what? Let him not become uncircumcised. Don't act like you wasn't circumcised. That's right. Don't pick up your old habits. That's right. Act like the way you was before the foreskin was moved off your body or off your heart. That's right. Go take God. Is any called an uncircumcision? Is, 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 here, here, here. I want my Jewish brothers to get this. Oh, yes. Because uh, there was a preacher fighting me vigorously over the air about me preaching one wife. Mm. They protest against that, but... Because uh, every Hebrew don't believe you have multiple wives. Right. And now he took some man's wife. Mm. And all the Hebrew Israelites, many of them was jumping all over him. Yes. Well, he's supposed to have been circumcised. Circumcised. Now he's acting like he was not circumcised. That's right. You see, when you act like you was not circumcised, you're acting the same way before you were clean. That's right. Now you're manifesting past behavior in the present, unclean behavior in the present, sinner behavior in the present, and yet you're claiming you're clean. That's right. The word of God says you're clean through the word that I speak unto you. That's right. Didn't it say so? Is any man called being circumcised? Oh, this is good. Oh, yes. If any man called being circumcised. Let him not become uncircumcised. Don't you come along acting like a sinner. Is any uncircumcision is any called in uncircumcision in uncircumcision let him not be circumcised then let him not be circumcised circumcision is nothing <laughs> now he talk about the natural natural what did the apostle paul the hebrew of the hebrews come out of the stock of israel amen he declared what circumcision is nothing what is it and uncircumcision is nothing what is it but the keeping of the commandments of god you hear that that's right <laughs> hey you got a man never been circumcised right 
Here you got a man been circumcised That's according right. to the flesh. That's right. Paul ain't talking about the spirit. No. He talking about flesh. Flesh. But what is the best thing for that man? But the keeping of the commandments. What? Of, but the keeping of the and, commandments and, and of God. A man, here's a man that come out the seed of Abraham, come out the stock of Israel, bragging that he's a Jew out there, and yet he takes another man's wife, then your circumcision that mean nothing. Nothing. Because you did not keep, keep the commandment. That's right. You didn't keep God's order. That's you right. didn't keep God's instruction. So you're no better than the uncircumcised. That's right. Circumcision is nothing. No better. No better. Now, here's someone that been circumcised in the heart. That's right. That believe you can have more than one wife today. Lord. Well, you know better than the ones that's not saved. That's right. Who never heard the word of God. Never heard the word. You believe that you can have more than one wife. You still can smoke and drink and lie and dance out there and go to the clubs. Man, your heart ain't circumcised. No way. Because you're manifesting the behavior of a person whose heart have never been circumcised. That's right. So therefore, the stones are still on your heart. That's right. You better go back to the book of Ezekiel, son. Back in and Ezekiel. And then we'll pick up Jeremiah and then we'll go back to Abraham. Abraham's house. Back in Ezekiel 36 and verse 26. Come on, son. A new heart also will I give Glory you. Glory to God. Amen. Hear me, world. A new heart also will I give this you. This is why you're in a mess now. That's right. Because your heart is wrong. Amen. This is why you believe in three gods in heaven. Oh, yeah. Three distinct persons in the Godhead. That's right. Because your heart is wrong. That's right. That's why you believe it's all right to divorce and marry and divorce and marry and you swap wives like somebody training cars. That's right. Because your heart is wrong. But my heart is not right. What, 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 what? Acts chapter 8 and verse 21. What did he say? For thy heart is not right uh, in the sight of God. You better give chapter and verse again and go up above that. Acts chapter 8, we'll start at verse 20. I believe this is when uh, Philip went down to Samaria. That's right. And Samaria have heard the word of God and they was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. And the apostles heard that they received the word of God. Mm -hmm. They came in town and laid hands on them and they received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's right. There was a fella around who was of an uncircumcised heart mm -hmm. by the name of Simon and he was a sorcerer. Right. And he saw the apostles lay hands on the folk mm -hmm. and they received the Holy Ghost. Yes. Well, mine, they, that old hypocrite, wanted to buy the Spirit of God. Give me also this power. Give chapter and verse for this. Acts chapter 8, we're at verse 19. This is the thoughts and the heart and the actions of the of an uncircumcised man. You preachers, you preachers, you preachers, I don't care what religion you are. Anytime you steal from the house of God and steal the money from the people, your heart ain't circumcised. That's right. Your heart is not circumcised. That's right. You ain't nothing but a poor pit sinner. Amen. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Amen. What? Acts chapter 8, we're at verse 19. Come on, son. Saying, give me also this power. Give me also this power. That on whomsoever I I lay hands, he may receive that the Holy Ghost. I lay hands on, they receive the Spirit of God. But Peter said unto him, thy money perish. Thy money. I want to say to you pulpit thieves, thieves. That's right. out there. You that's in the church, the Son of God or the mosque. I don't care who you are. That's right. The Bible says. Thy money perish with thee. God is talking. Amen. The God of Abraham. You know, one of the biggest lies they told on Abraham is that he's the father of all three religions. He's the father of Judaism. He's the father of Christianity. Right. He's the father of Islam. That's right. You told three lies on Abraham. Three lies. For God have never, never, and hear me good. That's right. God have never thought enough of no prophet that he ever sent no. since he been God that he gave that prophet the authority to start religion. That's right. Not one. That's right. Hear me, hear me Muslims, hear me so-called fake Christians. Amen. Hear me Jews out there oh, yes. who claim Abraham to be the father of your religion. That's a lie out of hell. That's right. God have never gave Abraham, no. Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Aaron, 
Enoch, Methuselah, That's right. Lamech, Noah, Canaan, yeah. Arfax, Melil, nobody. Nobody. Peter, Paul, Barnabas, That's right. James, John, nobody. Nobody. Not even Jesus came to start a religion. No, no. Nobody. Nobody. God Almighty already told the world already. what they must be. That's right. Give me Leviticus, Leviticus 19, and 19 and 1. And verse Thank 1. God and give me Ephesians 1 and 4. That's right. Let's hear what God says. Leviticus chapter 19, we'll start reading in verse 1. Says what? And the Lord spake unto Moses, and the saying, Lord, the boss. The boss. I want to hear the boss. That's right. And if the boss upset you, that's your problem. That's right. Eh? Hey Amen. Someone said you got to be holy in Geno Jennings Church. I ain't got no church. No. I wasn't back here when this was said. Oh, no. Hey Amen. I wasn't here. My mama wasn't here, nor my daddy. That's right. Don't credit me because it was left up to me. I wouldn't say be holy. No. No, no. Not me. Oh, no. Amen. This is New York, New York. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Amen. There used to be a song back in the 70s. New York, New York. That's the right. big apple. apple. New York. Yeah, I, I would be here and I'd take a bite out this apple. Amen. Man, Amen. The God of heaven says what? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Hear me, world. Speak unto all the, the congregation. Says, of the children of Israel. Tell all the children of Israel. And say unto them. You shall be what? Ye shall be holy. For I the Lord your God am holy. That's what God is. That's what God is. And you can't be holy and ignore God's holy word. Ye shall be holy. He said you shall be. He yes, shall he be holy. He didn't say be Baptist, Muslim, Hebrew, Israelite, Judaism, Christianity, amen, Buddhist, and uh, uh, Christian science and Scientology, and Pentecostal and Apostolic and non-denominational and amen, be Klu Klux Klan and Aryan Nation. That's right. No, sir. Ye shall be holy. <laughs> no, sir. Amen. Come on back. So what the Bible says, ye shall be holy. Amen. Do you hear this? Ye shall be holy. I don't care if you get mad until you make broadcasts and cuss from sun up to sundown. That's Do right. you hear what the word of God said? Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be. Shall That's be a holy. commandment. That's a commandment. That's an order. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, The Lord said it. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. What? And say unto them, Ye shall be ye holy. Ye shall be holy. For I, the Lord, For your, I God, the Lord your God, am holy. That was before. God is holy before any ethnic group is created. In Ephesians 1 and verse 4. Before there was Jew right. or Gentile, That's right. bond or free, oh, yeah. there was God. That's right. And God lets you know that holiness have no beginning because there's no beginning to God. That's right. In this Ephesians is, this, chapter this, 1. This is the only belief in the universe oh, yes. that God governs creation. That's right. The sun rise and set according to God's holy order. That's right. Star, hallelujah. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Stars shine oh, yeah. according to God's holy order. Oh, yeah. He gave the sea her decree yeah. and left the beings of the chambers in the water according to God's holy order. That's right. There's not a religion in the world that's that powerful. Oh, yes. Yeah. That it rules creation. That's right. That's right. Any man that start religion yeah. is dead. Oh yes. Yeah. But God abide forever. God abide forever. That's right. All right, listen. That's right. Praise our God. What is this, son? Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse 4. Be quick. According as he hath chosen us in him. Before the foundation of the world. That we should be holy. Before he founded the earth. We should be holy. Before he made the earth. Before he made the universe. That's right. The solar system. Yeah. It was already implemented in God's mind. That we should be holy. God's whole character. That's right. Is to be holy. And without blame. And he want everything to be blameless. Before him. Before him. In love. And have love. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> what you mean have love? When you have love, you have God because God, God is, love. is love. That's it. Yeah? That's right. All right, you better go back now. 
to the book of uh, Ezekiel. Back in Ezekiel. And then uh, we'll go back to Abraham. I want everybody to follow me. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to enlarge more on the Jewish thing, mm -hmm. the Jewish controversy, and the Gentile controversy. Yeah. And then there was one gentleman, I believe he called himself P.T. I don't know, but he's a Hebrew Israelite. And uh, he said that some of my followers was writing him and saying that he owed me an apology. So someone sent me an excerpt of a statement. Listen, leave that brother alone. Amen. That brother don't owe me no apology. He didn't say nothing derogatory about me. Right. He made it clear of his disagreements that he had with me. And uh, he said he believed in bearing arms. And Pastor Jennings preached that uh, not to bear arms. Right. Uh, he, he even quoted the New Testament where Jesus told Peter to put up your sword. And then he kind of added. Mm. He said Peter put it up for a, while, for a while. The Bible didn't say that. No. He put it up. Put it up. I don't read we took it back. No. Huh? No. So uh, the Bible says this, the weapons of our war. I know the Old right. Testament said there's a time for war. Right. Yes, it did say that. Yeah. But now here come the apostle again, mm -hmm. moved by the same spirit. That's right. And said the weapon of our warfare. Give chapter and verse. Second Corinthians chapter ten, we're at verse four. The weapon of, of our, our warfare, warfare are not carnal. You see, when you have a gun, that's something carnal. Carnal. The Bible says not carnal. Not when you carnal. got a blade, that's something carnal. That's right. You see, in the Old Testament, they was allowed to use axes, battle axes, and swords, and all of that stuff. But right. now Jesus come along that's here. Right. Thank God, in the greatest weapon under the Son yeah. is God himself. For though we walk in the flesh, you hear this? 2 Corinthians 10 and at verse 3. Though we walk in the flesh, no repeat to God in the flesh. We do not war. We don't war. After the flesh. After the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare, the weapon of our warfare, are not carnal. But how, how, how we fight, son? But mighty through God. What we use to fight with? Mighty through God. What we use to fight with? Mighty through God. We fight Congress through with God. God. We fight Parliament That's right. through God, That's it. we fight the president through God, That's right. we fight religion through God, That's right. we fight the world through God. by using God. That's right. And the way we use God, we use the speech of God, That's it. the words of God. That's right. My God, man, I could do more damage with the Bible than I could with a gun. Oh, yes. Don't you know the Bible said, fear not him? That's right. That can destroy the body. That's right. Afterward, he can't do no more. No more. But rather fear him, right. that after destroying body and soul can cast both into hell. That's right. Jesus said, I said, fear him. Fear him. Fear him. Fear him. Amen. That's right. Glory to God. All right, son, what you have? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Oh, they're not carnal. But mighty through it's God. mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. Pulling down the strongholds. Casting, casting down, down imagination. Imagination. And every high thing. Every high thing that, that exalts itself, itself against, against the, knowledge, the of God, knowledge of God. And bringing into and captivity. And bringing into captivity. Every, every thought. thought to, the obedience to the obedience of Christ. And having in a readiness to readiness. In having in readiness to revenge, to revenge all disobedience all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled when your obedience is fulfilled it's fully done that's right all right go back to where you are real quick back in ezekiel 36 and verse 26 all right i'm on my way i'm not there yet i'm on my way a new heart also will i give you all right now god want to give you a new heart a new heart spiritual circumcision that's right New heart will I give you, and a new spirit, and a new will, spirit I within you. will I put in you. And I will take away the stony heart, take out away of the, the flesh. stony heart of the flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. Now, there are two classes of Jews in the Bible: Abraham's seed, right, naturally, then Abraham's seed by faith. I want to certify as a go, right. Two class. That's right. One scripture talk about both of the house of Israel. Let's talk about Judah and Israel. I know. Right. But it also deal with two class of people. That's right. You got the descendants of Abraham that will stand before God, whose number at the end right. is 144,000. Yes. Each tribe is sealed 12,000. 12, Them are the descendants, I hope you to hear me, of Abraham by faith. By faith. You'll Romans. find that in the seventh chapter of the book of Revelation. Yes. Each one is sealed 12,000. 12, but give me the book of Romans. Now in Romans chapter 4, we're at verse 12. Yes. And the father of circumcision. The father. That's Abraham. That's Abraham. Of circumcision. To them who are not under circumcision. <laughs> Amen. 
Do you hear? And the father of circumcision. The father of circumcision. Of circumcision. To them who are not of the circumcision. To them. Only, to them. To them who are not of the circumcision. Who are not of the circumcision. But who also walk in the steps. But who faith. also walk in the in steps, the of, steps that faith, of that faith of our father Abraham, of our father Abraham, which he had yet being uncircumcised. Now hear this. Amen. Seven chapter of the book of Revelation, quick. Revelation chapter seven. Now we're at verse five. Let's get Abraham's seed according to the flesh and see how many is prepared or will be prepared right. for the kingdom. And let's get Abraham by faith. Right. And let's see how many can we name of those. That's right. All right, be quick. Revelation chapter 7, we'll start at verse 4. Now Jew, naturally, mm -hmm. circumcised according to the flesh. Mm -hmm. Jew, spiritually, circumcised according to the spirit. That's right. You better read that quick again, then we can go back to that right. in the book of Romans. Back in Romans chapter 4 and we're at verse 2. I want to get both kind of circumcisions mm. and then we go back to Revelation. We have to begin at Romans 4 and verse 11. All right. And he received the sign of circumcision. Yeah. Amen. He received. He received the sign of circumcision. The sign of, of circumcision. circumcision. Hey, you better go up the, uh, above that. Ten. Verse 10. Yes, come on, son. Well, know what, Pastor? We'll start at verse 9. Yes, come on, let's read it. Romans chapter 4 and at verse 9. Let's have it. Cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only? Yes. Or upon the Wait, 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 wait. Cometh this blessedness? <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear? Cometh this blessedness? Come this blessing? Then up, this blessedness? This blessedness? Then upon the circumcision only? Is this blessing... Only upon the circumcision only? Or upon the uncircumcision also? Or upon the uncircumcision also? For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. We say. Amen. That faith was reckoned to Abraham. Was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. For what's right? How was it then reckoned? How was it then reckoned? When when he was in circumcision. Yes. Or in uncircumcision. Yes. Not in circumcision. Yes. But in uncircumcision. Yes. And he received the sign of circumcision. He received what? The sign of circumcision. The sign of circumcision. A seal of the righteousness of the faith. A seal. Of the righteousness of the faith. Which he had yet being uncircumcised. Yes. That he might be the father of all them that believe. Amen. Wait now, Amen. wait. Abraham is the father of all them that believe. Of all believers. Though they be not circumcised. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> yet they foreskin is not removed. Though that he might be the father of all them. But he's the father of, of all, all them that believe, that believe, though they be not circumcised, yet they foreskin is still there. That righteousness might be imputed unto them also. That the righteousness may be given unto them also. Also. And the father of circumcision. The father of circumcision. To them who are not of the circumcision only. To them that is not of the circumcision only. But who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham. You hear it? Which he had being yet uncircumcised. Not only them. That's right. That are Abraham's seed of the flesh. That's right. But also them walk in the steps that of walk the faith in the steps of the belief of our father Abraham. Of the same belief that Abraham had. Which he had being yet uncircumcised. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. He had faith. Yet and he, he he wasn't circumcised yet? Which he had been yet uncircumcised. He wasn't even circumcised yet, but he believed in God. For the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not Wait, yet. wait, wait, wait. Amen. The promise. That he should be the heir that of the world. That he should be the heir. What was that promise? I make you a father of many nations. Of many nations. He was the heir of the world. Of the world. Was not to Abraham. Was not to Abraham. Or to his seed. Or to his seed. Through the law. Through the, what? Was not to Abraham or to his seed. It through wasn't the law. to his, his, his kinfolk according to the flesh through the law. But through the righteousness of faith. <laughs> now, there's a certain number yes. that come from Abraham loins. That's right. To reign with God according to the flesh. That's right. Seventh chapter of Revelation. Book of Revelation chapter seven and verse four. Yeah. Revelation chapter seven and verse four. You get this. And I heard the number of them that were sealed, 
and they were sealed in 140 and 4,000. Real quick. Of all the tribes of the children of Israel. All the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Yes. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Read on. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephilim were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000. Each tribe was sealed 12,000. 12,000. And the number of the tribes, the uh -huh. total that was sealed was what? 140 and 4. Give chapter and verse. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 4. And I heard the number of them that were sealed. I heard the number of them that were sealed. And they were sealed in 144,000. All right. Abraham's seed. Of all the tribes of the children of, of Israel. all the tribes of, Je of Israel. That's right. But here come a number. That's right. That no man. Right. Could number. Revelation chapter 7. Of believers. That, Revelation chapter 7 and verse 9. And these believers. The number was bigger, bigger than Israel. That's right. According right. to the flesh. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 9. Get this. After this I beheld. After this. After oh, this. Oh, after this. After this. I looked. And lo, a this, great this, multitude. This is what prophet Haggai meant. That's right. When he said the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Than the former. That's right. Huh? After this. You see, Moses of the Old Testament represent Jesus of the New Testament. That's right. Egypt of the Old Testament represent the sinful world right. in the New Testament. That's right. Israel of the Old Testament in bondage represent the Israel in the New Testament in sin. In sin. Israel coming out of bondage and going into Canaan in the New Testament represent the church going into New Jerusalem. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? After this. After this. I beheld. I beheld. And lower great multitude. A great multitude. Which no man could number. Oh, them the believers. That's right. Them are the believers. That's right. The faith. That's right. Them that believe in the God of Abraham. That's right. Them are the faith folk. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. What? After this I beheld. I beheld. And lo, a great lo, multitude. A great multitude. Which no man can number. Which no man can number. Of all nations. Of all, wait, 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 wait. Of all nations. Ain't, the ones that believe in the God of Abraham are not just Jews. That's right. In the spirit. That's right. Huh? Of all nations. How much? Of all nations. All nations. And kindred. You see, they have to balance that with the prophecy of, of Isaiah, Isaiah. That all nations shall flow unto it. Unto it and right. we must learn what the God of Abraham gave us. That's right. All right, sir. After this I beheld and lo a great multitude. Yes. Which no man. Can number, no man can number of all nations, of all nations, and kindred, kindred and people, people, and tongues, tongues stood before the throne. They stood before the throne and before the land, and before the land, clothed with white robes and what, and palms in their hands, saying, and cried with a loud voice. What is it? Saying, Salvation, Salvation to our God, to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, which sit upon the throne, and unto the land, and unto the land, and all the angels, meaning and unto the sacrifice. They was glad that Jesus died for them. That's right. Huh? That's right. Huh? And all the angels stood. Around about Stood the around throne, about the throne. And about the elders and the four beasts. Yes. And fell before the throne on, on their faces. And what? And worshiped God. Do you hear that? That's right. Now, go back. Back in Ezekiel. To the book of Romans. Back in Romans. Let's get Brother Paul. Mm -hmm. I want to get the Gentile now. Yes. And show you what a Gentile is. Now, from a natural perspective, a Gentile is every ethnic group that's not Hebrew or Jew. That's right. I don't care who you are. Yes. Uh, the Apostle Peter, a Jew, was up on the housetop. Yeah. And a four corner a vision came. Vision came. Like a four corner sheet. Four corner sheet. Knitted on all the ends. All the four. And Peter saw within the sheet a vision of four footed beasts and creeping things and fowls, fowls of, the, of air. the air. And it came to him three times. It came like a sheet, and a sheet is used to spread. And the information that God gave the apostle Peter was spread to the four corners of the earth, and the sheet was as it was knitted. That's right. Letting you know that if you obeyed the gospel that was given to the apostle Peter, it would keep you confined or close connected 
to the body of Christ that had come from the four corners of the earth. That's right. It came three times. Three times. The Bible says out of the mouth of two or three, three witnesses, witnesses shall every word be established. That's right. He saw four-footed beasts, creeping things, fowls of the air. The animals represent people. People. And the people that it represent were Gentiles, Gentiles, and the Gentiles that it represent was an unclean people, other ethnic groups that was not already in the fold. Wherein were all men of Jesus said, the earth. other sheep that I have right. that is not of this fold, of this but he said, I got to bring them in also. That's right. Listen at this. Acts chapter 10 and verse 12. So I, Wherein were all manner of four footed beasts of the earth. All manner of four footed beasts. And wild beasts and creeping wild things and beasts. fowls of the air. You know, Gentiles were wild people. And there came a voice to him, rise, Peter. Rise, Peter. Kill and eat. Kill and eat. But Peter said, not so, Lord. Not so, Lord. For I've never eaten anything that is common. I have never ate everything, anything that was common. Or unclean. Or unclean. And the voice spake unto him again the second time. What? What God hath cleansed. Listen that here. What God hath cleansed. What God straightened out. That call not thou common. If God gets somebody clean, who are you to talk? That's right. So a Gentile, from a natural perspective, is every other ethnic group that's not Hebrew or Jew. Romans chapter like 3. it was mm -hmm. when Cornelius, who was of the Italian band, and the Jew came to the Italian to band. The Italian that was band. the creatures that... Uh, Peter saw in the sheep. That's right. And that was the unclean who Peter then preached to. That's right. All right, in the book of Romans, what you have? Romans chapter 3, we'll start at verse 1. Listen. What advantage then hath the Jew? Listen, listen. What advantage? I had a, a so called Hebrew Israelite told me Paul was a traitor. Paul was no Jew. Mm. Paul was no apostle. Lord. He said, Paul didn't know nothing about the law. You're a fool. That's a fool. You mean to tell me you that caught up in your ethnic group that you are blasphemed what the Bible says and here? Hebrew of the Hebrews. The Bible speak plain. In Philippians chapter 3 and verse 5. Pastor Paul gave us testimony. Circumcised the eighth him. day. Why should any, here's a man whom God stopped. That's right. That's right. Abraham, God stopped him. That's right. A light shined from heaven above the brightness of the sun. Glory to God. And he fell to the earth. You going to fall. Oh, yeah. Oh, you may not fall now, but you going to fall. That's right. And God spoke from heaven and said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Tell me. And Saul said, mm -hmm. Who art thou, thou? Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. That's right. Not L O R D S. L O R D. Just one. That's right. And the Lord admitted, I am Jesus. The Lord confessed, and the Lord said, I am Jesus. The Lord acknowledged who He was, and the Lord said, I am Jesus. Yah declared, I am Jesus. I am Yahshua. That's right. That's right. Elohim declared, I am Jesus. I'm Yahshua. That's right. I am that I am. Declared. I am Jesus. I'm Yahshua. That's right. Do you get what I'm talking? That's right. Now, if the God of heaven then hear me, good stiff neck, Amen. hard head, hell bound, so called believers. That's right. If God of heaven declared himself to be Jesus, you might as well stop telling that lie yes. that Jesus is not God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Because you know, nobody know who he is better than him. Better than him. All right, son, what did he say? Back in Philippians 3 and verse 5. Yeah. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel. Yeah. Of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews. A uh, Hebrew of the Hebrews. As touching the law. Touching the law. Touching Pharisee. the law. As touching the law. Touching the law. Pharisee. Concerning zeal. Concerning zeal. Persecuted. All right, let's keep going back to where we were. Back now. in Romans chapter 3 and verse 1. Listen at this. What advantage then hath the Jew? Now, hear me. Gentile in the natural. Yeah. It's every other ethnic group. That's right. That's not Jew. That's right. In other words, they are the strangers. Yes. That came un into Abraham's house, whom he bought with money. With money. With money. They wasn't from his seed. No. Strangers, foreigners, foreigners. Gentiles. That's right. Do you get me? That's right. All right, go back to Romans. What did he say? What advantage then hath the Jew? 
Or what profit is there of circumcision? Yes. Much every way, chiefly, because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Yes. For what if some did not believe? What if some did not believe? Now their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid, let God be true and every man be alive. Now it's Romans chapter 3, we're down at verse 8. What is it? And not rather as we be slanderously reported. Listen, not rather. As we be slanderously reported. Oh, they're slandering Paul now. Oh, yeah. You out there slandering Paul now. I don't respect Paul as a Jew. Who cares? That's right. <laughs> Paul don't need your respect. No. It's already written. And not rather as we be slanderously and reported. Since when did do I want everybody to hear me? Amen. Who in the world you think you are that the Bible need your recognition? That's right. Word of God says all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. God. Amen. Every prophet and every apostle was inspired by the Spirit of God. Since when does the Bible need anybody's recognition? That's right. God's word is for settle in heaven, even in the midst of unbelievers. God's word is right and don't need no man's approval. That's right. Hear me good. And uh, not rather as we be slanderously reported. Not rather. As we be slanderously reported. Being slanderous reported. And as some affirm that we say, let us do evil. Yes. That good may come. And whose damnation is just. Yes. What then? What then? Are we better than they? Yeah. Amen. Are we better than they? No. No. In no wise. In no wise. For we have before proved both Jews and Gentiles. What are they? That they are all under sin. Now, Amen. whether you're a Jew from Abraham line, bloodline, or a Gentile, That's right. if you're not following God's word and God's order and God's instructions right. and have not been born again, That's right. they are all, all under sin. Now, what is a Gentile spiritually? Spiritual. A sinner. That's right. Just like a Gentile naturally. Right. Is a, a, a someone else that's not Jewish, not Jewish. uncircumcised, unclean. unclean, a Gentile spiritually right. is one that is unclean in the heart. That's right. He is wicked. He is of the devil, of the devil. and he don't respect or follow God's law. That's right. Where is you folks? can be a Jew by the flesh, right? But a Gentile in behavior. Romans chapter three and read verse twenty-seven. Hear me, hear me, hear me, good. Amen. Give chapter and verse again. Romans chapter three and read verse twenty-seven. Oh, I want to give you a belly full of today. Amen. I say you can be a Jew according to Abraham, see in the flesh, right? And then be a Gentile by behavior. That's right. If you take a man's wife and you know that. That violate God's law, you are you are Gentile right. in behavior. That's right. Hear me good? Romans chapter 3. Don't believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. You don't? You don't. You don't? That's right. You are Gentile. That's right. Amen. Amen. Believe in three gods in heaven, three distinct persons in the Godhead. Oh, you do? You do. You give them the thoughts of a Gentile. That's right. The Thoughts of them that are circumcised as here, O Israel. Yes. The Lord our God is one. Is one. Huh? That's right. Come on, son. Romans chapter 3 and at verse 27. Listen. Where is boasting then? Where? Do you hear this? Amen. Where? Where is boasting then? Is boasting then? It is excluded. What is it? By what law of works? Yes. Nay, but by the law of faith. Yes. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith. Where? We conclude. That a man is justified by is faith. Justified by his belief. Without the deeds of the law. Without the deeds of the law. The deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? You tell me. Amen. Because according to what he told Abraham, that's right. The Jew. And the, Gentile and the Gentile got to be circumcised. That's right. When you come under the house. That's right. The Jew and the Gentile today, today, heart must, must, must be circumcised. Be circumcised, and the Jew and the Gentile have to obey the same commandments that God gave the apostles. You got to obey it today or go to hell. That's right. Do you hear this? Is he not? Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? 
Do you hear that? That's right. That's right. Now, look at the mixed blood that is in black folk. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, glory to God. Many of the brothers, I, I, I talked to many Hebrew Israelites that know me personally. I was in a restaurant one day and a group of Hebrew Israelites came and talked to me and shook my hand and come and say, we, 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 you, Pastor Jennings, we ain't going to talk about the Bible and all that. We know you'll stand. We, you know I will stand, but we want you to know we have a lot of respect for you because none of the preachers out here is doing what you're doing. I said, well, I thank God for that. We had a very, a very intelligent conversation. But one Hebrew Israelite raised the question. He said, I'm not clear on something. He said, tell me, do you believe that a black man can actually be a Gentile? I said, yes. yes. He said, Pastor Jennings, how? I said, in the Old Testament, what is a Gentile? He said, oh, it's every other ethnic group that's not Jew. I said, correct. Is he unclean? He said, yes. I said, you a Jew, right? He said, yes. I said, when you sin, are you unclean? He said, yes. I said, if you are sinning, you are acting out the deeds of the Gentile. I said, I'm talking now to a Jew by nature because you come from Abraham's seed according to the flesh. But if you're a sinner in your conduct, you're also a Gentile in conduct. In conduct. <laughs> he looked at me. He grabbed my hand and shook my hand with such force and embraced me. He said, I never thought of that at all. Yeah. I said, just read the Bible. It's in there. That's right. Listen at this. Therefore, therefore we chapter and verse. Romans chapter 3, we're at verse 28. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified Abraham by faith. was a clean man. That's right. Amen. You come from Abraham's seed while you smoking. Amen. That's right. Amen. You come from Abraham's seed while you a raper. That's right. You come from Abraham. See, why are you lying? Why are you swearing? Why are you cussing? Yeah. Why are you a homosexual? Mm. That's right. Huh? That's right. Remember, my Hebrew brothers, you saying that all black folk are Jews and it's impossible for blacks to be Gentiles. All right, you're wrong. You're wrong. Now, look at us, yeah. the black man. Right. We are descendants from plantations. That's right. So we have the blood of Gentiles. That's right. In us. In us. The, the names of black people from where black people originate from yeah. ain't no American name. No. Our, our name is not originally Browns and McGillicuddy's and... Jennings and Williams and uh, none of that the original name of black folk. No. Them are the names of Gentiles. That's right. The Gentiles own Jews. That's right. And took Jews from Africa and then stamped us like cattle and gave us their name. Right. Laid with our mothers and birth children that look like Jews and also have blood of Gentiles. That's right. So now God come along. Hallelujah. God, I say. That's right. Look at that black brown and yellow man who looked like a Jew but had blood of Gentile in his lawns. Yeah. And God take the same word. That's right. And circumcise his heart and clean him up. That's right. So he don't act out the blood that's in him. Oh yes. If a black man rape a black woman because he's a Jew. A Jew. Is his actions better than a white man that rape a white woman? That's right. No. No. Both of them are Gentiles in behavior. That's right. That's right. 
Yeah, me good. Yeah, me good. Yeah, me good. Yeah, me good. Now in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 11. I want you to follow me in the Bible. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 11. Yeah, man. Wherefore, remember. Oh, this is good. Oh, yes, it is. And this is so plain. Yes, it is. Listen. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 11. What is it? Wherefore, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember. That ye being in time past, ye Gentiles in the flesh. being in time past. Gentiles in the flesh. Gentiles in the flesh. Who are called uncircumcision. Who are called uncircumcision. By that which is called the circumcision by in the flesh. that which is called circumcision in the flesh. Made by hand. Made by hand. That at that time. At that time. We were without Christ. Oh. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. That's right. Here's the Apostle Paul reaching back when you were sinners. That's right. And what the Jews called the sinner. The sinners. What? That at that time ye were without Christ. Nobody. Nobody. You didn't have Christ. Being alien. What? Being alien. That's what a Gentile is now. That's right. A Gentile is a black man, white man, yellow man, brown man whose heart has never been circumcised, who is not walking according to the word of God because he don't know Christ. That at that time you were without Christ. You were without Christ? Being alien. What are you? Alien. When you don't have Christ, what are you? Alien. What else? From the commonwealth of Israel. From the commonwealth of Israel. And strangers. What else are you? Strangers. That's a Gentile. From the covenants of promise. Amen. Have and you have a black man who don't have Christ? He's a Gentile. He's a Gentile. A white man that don't have Christ? He's a Gentile. That's right. A yellow man that don't have Christ? He's a stranger. That's He's right. a foreigner. foreigner. He's a Gentile. That's He's right. an alien. But that at that time, at that time, he was without Christ. That's what I'm talking about. That's it. That's right. Amen. Good. That's right. Glory to God. What did he say? That son? at that time you were without Christ. I want you to understand my Bible stand. <laughs> Amen. Make it clear. Because people misrepresent me all over the world. Yes, they do. Hey, Amen. You got folks all over such a, He's a racist. He's I am not a racist. You just want me to be the racist. <laughs> That's right. I say the black and white that don't repent of their sins yeah. and are baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, that black or white or brown okay. or yellow is a Gentile, a sinner, a child of the devil, and will go to hell. That's right. That's right. Don't brag to me about you, black. Amen. Don't brag to me because you're white. No. Have you obeyed Christ? That's it. That's right. Huh? That's it. And both of your answer is no. no. I'm talking to two Gentiles. That's, That's right. Who heart have never been circumcised. That's right. Hear me good. That at that time you were without Christ. Yes. Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Oh, this is good. Oh, yes. Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. And strangers. This is all of you out there that are listening that don't have Christ. That's right. You haven't repented of your sins. You were not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have the Holy Spirit speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God to give utterance. Yes. You see, when you do that, the Holy Ghost come to circumcise your heart. Your heart. To get rid of the stony heart because you're coming to the house of the God of Abraham. That's right. And the stranger and the Jew must be circumcised. Yes. Do you hear? That at that time you were without Christ. That goes for you, that is. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Black, white, brown, yellow, red. God wants to circumcise your heart. Your heart. And if your heart not circumcised, you're nothing but a sinner with a Bible in your hand. That's right. Hear what I'm telling you? That at that time, you were without Christ. You that are listening, I don't care how black you are. Amen. If you disobey God, you can say you the Hebrew, fine. Fine. But you the Gentile until you obey God. That's right. You That's got right. the conduct of a Gentile. Oh, yes. Eh? Come on, son. That at that time, you were without Christ. You were without Christ. A man don't have Christ. What is it? Being alien. You are alien. From the commonwealth of from Israel. From the commonwealth of Israel. And strangers. You are strangers. From the covenants of promise. From the covenant of promise. Having no having hope. Having no hope. And without and God with, in the world. Wait a minute. What are you? Having no hope. Nope. And without God in the world. What is a Gentile? Having no hope. And without God in the world. What happened? But now in Christ Glory. Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, in Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off, oh, <laughs> that's right, far off, 
You see, us Gentiles, all other ethnic groups, you are far off. Far off. Italians and Germans and amen and all them Russians and all. You are the far off. Far off. Sinners, you are the far off. That's right. But what happened? But now in Christ Jesus. Now in Christ Jesus. He who sometimes were far off. Who were far off. Uh, were made nigh. Was made close. By the blood of Christ. He died for all of you. For he is our peace. He died for all of you. That's right. God was manifested That's in right. the flesh. In the flesh. Amen. From Abraham to David, 14 generations. generations. From David to the carry away into Babylon. That's right. 14 generations. From the carry away of Babylon into Christ. Christ. 14 generations. That's right. He sent prophecy down to 42 generations. Yeah. Amen. God did. Moved on the prophets to tell us about the forecoming of the flesh of Christ. That's right. And eternal God that made the worlds and all things therein, seeing that his Lord of heaven and earth was manifested in the flesh. God flesh was God's sheep. God's sheep was God form. God form was God fashion. That's God right. fashion was God figure. God figure was God image. God image was the Messiah. The Messiah was the prophet. The Messiah was the man Christ Jesus. The man Christ Jesus was the lamb of God, the sacrifice of God, That's the right. Son of God, the Son of David. That's right. Huh? But now in Christ Jesus. The Bible said, but thou Bethlehem Ephrathah, though thou may be little among the thousands of Judah, yet shall he come unto me. And uh, that is to be ruler in Israel. So that's what God did. Yes. He came manifest himself in the flesh and that flesh was a sacrifice because God couldn't die. Right. A spirit can't die. Right. So God took on flesh and blood and the flesh and blood hid the spirit. That's right. You couldn't see the spirit. So the flesh and blood hid the spirit. The Bible said in Isaiah 45 15, verily thou art a God, that, God that, hide that hide hideth thine self. Hide himself, oh God the is outer me. man and hid the inner man, That's right. and the inner man was in that body, in heaven, in the earth, everywhere in the world, but That's the flesh right. could only be in one place at a time. At a time. That's right. The Spirit of God can fulfill everything oh, yes. and be everywhere, everywhere, but the flesh can only be in one place at a time. That's right. Amen. He came in the likeness of sinful flesh to strip every excuse away from the human family that nobody can come to him and say, I don't know how to live holy. He demonstrated it. Uh, yes, he did. Came in the flesh to show you how to walk, how to talk, how to conduct yourself, how to live. That's right. And then when he went to the cross and died, he showed you that you got to die from your own will. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. God, he wouldn't trust no prophet to leave an example because no prophet can make an example so perfect. So perfect. So perfect and flawless. Oh, yes. Only he can do it. But now in Christ Jesus. The Bible says now in chapter and verse. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 13. Now in Christ Jesus. He who sometimes were far off. He who was sometime far away. Are made nigh by the blood Oh, you made close now by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. Ah. Amen. He is our peace. Who hath made both one. What? Who has made both one? Well, who is both? both. Jew and Gentile. That's right. That white man getting right, he don't want to put a rope around my neck. No. Black man getting right, I don't want to rob his house. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, man, I want to burn you while I got you. Amen. White man get it right, he won't look at me as a No. Black man get it right, I won't look at him as a yeah. I don't care how mad that white man get, he won't say you're preaching Negro. That's right. I'm not a Negro. That's a that grows. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I won't look at him as a he's not he don't come in a saltine pack that's right I look at him as a human being, human being. he ain't look at me as a human being right and we're supposed to be serving the same God bowing to the same order following the same doctrine that's right am I right sir that's right 
What did he say? But now in Christ Jesus. Now in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. Ye who sometimes in were Christ far Jesus, off. In Christ Jesus, you who were sometime afar off. Are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Now you're made close by his blood. For he is our peace. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Remission of sins. You see, in the Old Testament, they offered up lambs and bullocks and heifers and turtle doves. Turtle doves. But here he come. John said, Behold the Lamb of, the God, Lamb of God, or the sacrifice of God. Here you had this lamb offering. Thank right. God, amen. They killed the prince of life. This right. peace offering. Peace he offering. didn't have four legs. He had two. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. And when he died, his spirit offered up that body once, once, for, once all. for all. Once for all. Through the eternal spirit, he put off that body and went down to hell. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Judah, the lion, came out the lamb. That's right. Left the lamb, left the wool hanging there. Yes. Amen. Up on the cross, and he went on down to the lower parts of the earth That's and right. was there three days, three, days. three nights, preaching to the spirits of those that was in prison. That's right. Then the spirit got back in that body that consists of nothing but flesh and bones. And when the spirit got it, it quickened it. Quickened it mean it revived it. Revived mean it wickened it. And it took on the same glory of the spirit. That means that body was moved That's from right. a natural place to a spiritual place. That's and right. when the spirit got that body up, now that body had a different function. Different function. He can appear and disappear. and disappear. That body had the behavior of the spirit. That's right. That's why he said, hand to me. That's right. See that the spirit don't have flesh and bone. As you see me have. Like you see me have. That's right. Put your hands in my side. And look at my hands. Rest your hands in my side. Don't be faithless, but believe. But believe it. Thomas said, my Lord. And my God. And my God. And my God. If Thomas called him Lord and God, Lord you and better God. shut up if you call him anything else. That's right. He's Lord and God. Lord and God. Hallelujah. I had one man tell me, Thomas said Lord and God because he was shocked. All right, the Bible didn't say he was shocked. <laughs> no. And that's why I called him. And I asked him, man, regardless of what reason you try to say it, he said it. He still said it. Thomas lie. That's right. All I want to know that Thomas tell a lie when he addressed Jesus as Lord and God. Lord and God. He never answered me to this day. He can't. Amen. Like uh, the book of Isaiah 9 and 6. Mm -hmm. Under us, child is born. Talking about the birth of Christ. Uh -huh. Flesh of Christ. Christ. Under us, son is given. Talking about the death of Christ. Right. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Yeah. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Wonderful. Counselor. Wonderful. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. Well, it says his name shall be called. Right. So I had one brother come to me and say, well, his name shall be called. And you mentioned everlasting father. I said, yeah, the Bible says he shall be called that. Mm -hmm. I said, did he call him right or did he call him wrong? <laughs> he said, well, the Bible didn't say he was that. The Bible said he shall be called. Be called the everlasting father. So did father. he call him something he was not mm. or did he tell the truth? I, I locked his pants. Look, I gave him a wedgie that he's still trying to get out of. Amen. Huh? Amen. He, that, that scripture stuck tight. I asked him a question he couldn't get out of. Couldn't get out of. When Isaiah called him the everlasting father, you can try to make any excuse you want. Oh, yeah. Did Isaiah tell the truth or did Isaiah call him something that he was not? Right. <laughs> because if the Bible says, and his name shall be called. Shall be called the everlasting father. The everlasting father. If he's called the everlasting father, someone said, but his name is Jesus. How is his name the everlasting father? Because the name of Jesus Christ is everlasting to everlasting. That's right. All right, go back to where you were. Back in Ephesians 2 and that verse. Everybody all right? So I want you that, that are watching and you that are here, let me update you. Mm -hmm. If you were Jew naturally, then of course circumcised naturally by the flesh. flesh. Gentile naturally, other ethnic groups outside of Jew. Yeah. Jew spiritually, circumcision take place of the heart. In the heart. Gentile spiritually, you're just like the Gentiles of the Old Testament, but in a different nature. Yeah. In the Old Testament, you was unclean outside the Jewish people. Now, 
you are considered still unclean, unclean, but by behavior, yes. because you're still in your sins, regardless of what color you are, whenever your heart have not been circumcised by the two-edged sword of the word. That's right. All right, let's have it. In Ephesians 2 and verse 13. And then we go back to Romans. Back to Romans. Listen. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off. Yes. Are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Yes. For he is our peace. He is our peace. Who hath made both one. He made both one. One. And had broken down the middle wall of partition oh, between yes. us. He broke down the middle wall of partition that was between Jew and Gentile. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity. <laughs> He abolished it in his flesh. The image. The separation. Even the law of commandments. Even the law of commandments. Contained in ordinance. Contained in ordinance. For to make in himself of twain. Yes. One new man. So making peace. You see, God take Jew and Gentile. And what he makes? Uh, for to make, what he makes? For to make in himself of twain one new man. One new man. So making peace. One new people. One new man. One new people he makes now. That's right. One. One. And all of them are spiritual Jews. That's right. All of them. Give me the book of Romans. Back Go in, back to what Paul said back in about Romans. circumcision in the first chapter of the book of Romans. Back in Romans chapter 2 and at verse 28. Uh, second chapter. Beg your pardon. Let's have it. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly. Now listen. Amen. Get chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 2 and at verse 28. He is not a Jew. Which is one outwardly. He said, never mind your ethnic group. No. The Bible says you're not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Paul getting deeper than that. That's right. See, Paul going past your skin. That's right. Your flesh. Yes. Paul going way past that. Oh, yeah. I want you to look deep, deep, deep. For his, and what the apostle is saying by the inspiration of the Almighty. That's right. Listen. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly. He is not a Jew which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew. Where? Which is one inwardly. What? He is a Jew which is one inwardly. How? And circumcision is that of the heart. How? And circumcision is that of the heart. How? And circumcision is that of the heart. What? In the spirit. Where, where, where? What circumcised us? In the spirit. <laughs> and not in the letter. Jesus said, the words That's right. that I speak unto you, they are spirit. They are spirit. And they are life. That's right. So the teaching that Jesus gave his apostles was so strong, so sharp. So sharp. It's designed to pierce our heart and circumcise it. It's, right. it's a two-edged sword. Two-edged sword. It's a two-edged sword. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4. You come along and work on your heart and start cutting it. Start cutting Listen it. at this. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. What is it? For the word of God is quick. Wait, wait, wait. Word of God is what? For the word of God is quick. Quick. And powerful. There's nothing like it. No. Are you listening? Amen. There's nothing in the world like God's word. That's right. And that's the thing that many men are not preaching now. That's right. God's word. God's word. People just go on to church, jumping around, singing and flapping their arms. Heart no more circumcised and a duck can smoke a pipe and wear spats from the 1930s. That's right. <laughs> Hear this. For the word of God is quick, quick. and powerful. Powerful. And sharper. Oh, yes, it's sharp. Than it's any two-edged sword. Then any two-edged sword. Piercing. What does it do? Piercing. Amen. How many felt the piercing of the word? Raise your hand. Oh, yes. We all felt it. Everybody under the sun feels the piercing of God's word. That's right. I know you feel it on the internet. That's why you be cussing at me. That's right. That's why you make fake prophecies. That's why you call me this and call me that. Man, I ain't paying you no mind. No. A uh, hit dog hollers. Amen. I mean, every hit dog holler. Oh, yeah. Whenever somebody yell about the message they hear preached, that's a hit dog hollering. That's right. And they're hollering too, brother. Oh, yeah. And I'm so thankful. I mean, that's another dog been ran over by the <laughs> word. Right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Some, some men take their whole broadcast, 
talking about us. That let me know that the word of God ran over them and backed up on them and pressed them up against the wall, <laughs> broke their limbs and broke them up. That's why they keep saying, they know, they know, they know, they know, they know that the word done broke them up. That's right. Your pastor is a hit dog. Hit dog. Hear what I'm telling you? For the word of God is quick. I know that upset the little puppies. <laughs> That's right. That's under the hit dogs. That's right. The word of God is quick. And powerful. Powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. Sharper. Sharper. I thank God for the word. Oh, yes. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing. What? Piercing. Do you hear this? Even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. The word of God is the truth. The truth. Amen. It's the truth. Oh, yes. And some of you thank God for me on the internet so much. You say, Pastor Jennings is the, is the absolute truth. No, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. God is the absolute God is truth. The absolute truth. <laughs> Amen. And then one, C Rock, C Rock, I heard you. He was correcting some. Some of the people don't know no better. A lot of them don't know no better. They mean well. But he was correcting many people that logged on to his site and who was thankful for us. And they were saying, Pastor Jennings is the absolute truth. And C-Rock was saying, no, Pastor Jennings said you not to say that. He is not the absolute truth. God is the absolute truth. So I want all of my viewers to understand. You see, the preachers, they love to take that honor unto themselves. That's right. I don't, want, I don't want none of the honor that belonged to God. That's right. I want to stay in my place. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Amen. Praise don't mean a thing to me, and flattery don't move me. No. The God of heaven is the only, only truth, only absolute truth. That's right. Only the God of heaven. That's right. And as long as I preach God's word, the preaching the pre is the absolute truth. Yeah. The man is not the absolute truth. No. The spirit that's in the man, that's the absolute truth. That's it. Do you understand? That's right. Come on, son. For the word of God is quick and powerful. The word of God is quick. And powerful. Powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword. Tell us what does it do. Piercing. Hallelujah. Even to it the, right. Even to the dividing asunder. Then it divides asunder. Of soul and soul spirit. Soul and spirit. And of the joints and marrow. Get all in your joints. And marrow. And marrow. And is a discerner of the thoughts. God know your thoughts. And intents of the heart. And he know what you plan to do before you take it out. Neither is there any creature that is neither, not manifest neither, in neither. his sight. Is there any creature? That is not manifest in his sight. That is not manifest. It's not clearly seen. In his sight. In God's sight. But all things. All are, things. Are naked. What? But all things are naked. Do you hear this? All things are naked. Go to church now. You can go to church now. Oh, yeah. You done heard the message. Go on to church. Have a big time. Have a but big the time. hell you going if you don't obey what the word of God says? That's right. What did he say? All things. But all things are naked. Naked. And opened. Opened. Unto the eyes of him. Who can hide? That's right. That's Who right. can hide? Who can hide? You can turn all the lights off. Are uh, you that dumb and thank God don't see you? Can't see. You can bump up into folks, but God ain't going to bump up against you. That's right. We don't have a confused God. No. The scripture says darkness and light equal. are equal to him. Unto him. All right. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him. Yes. With whom we have to do. Yes. Seeing then that we have a great high priest. Do you hear this? Amen. We have a great high priest. That is passed unto the heaven. Passed unto the heaven. Jesus the Son of God. Who is it? Jesus the Son of God. Jesus the Son of God. Let us hold fast our profession. I want to say, you see that, Pastor Jennings? The Bible said the Son of God went to heaven. All right. I ain't arguing with you. Not arguing about it. I believe that. That's right. I preach there's no flesh and blood body in heaven called the Son of God. Right. But that glorified body is still have the title Son, Son of, of God. God. That's right. And it will always have the title Son of God. That's right. But you better not tell me it's no flesh and blood body up there right. called the Son of God. That's right. Mary didn't birth a glorified body. No. Mary did not birth a spiritual body. No. Mary birthed flesh, flesh and blood. Flesh and blood. And Paul said, flesh and blood That's right. shall not inherit. 
the kingdom of the kingdom God. Of God. <laughs> you know, it's so beautifully outlined in the Bible. Oh, yes. So, yes, we believe the Son of God, that glorified oh, body, God. that body is still called Son of, Son God, of God and will forever be called That's right. Son of a God. But that body was nobody's son with flesh and blood. No. When he rose, God highly exalted him. That's right. From natural to spiritual. The spiritual. And that spiritual body was still called Son of David, Son of God, Messiah, Apostle. It still have all those titles. That's right. But he ain't the way he was walking this earth. No. Flesh and blood in heaven, that's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. Jesus on one throne and God is on another. Mm -hmm. That's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. The Bible said heaven right. is his yeah. throne. His, 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 not theirs. Earth is his, his, his throne. That's right. Heaven belongs to one. It belongs to one. It don't belong to two or three. Now, heaven, hear, hear, hear this. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 1. Folks think I'm making up something. I'm not making up nothing, you old hypocrite. That's right. Listen at what the word of God says here. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 1. What is Thus saith the Lord. Who's talking? The Lord. How many is the Lord? L-O-R-D. How many is the Lord, folks? One. How many? One. You that are looking, how many is the Lord? The Lord. You that are looking, let me see you log on. Tell me how many. <laughs> Put one finger up or two. That's right. Tell me, how many is it? And That's someone right. said, you are the worst fool I ever met. Amen. How many are they talking about? One. Is it you? That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The word of God says what? Thus says the Lord. I mean, is that viewer? Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just one. One. Now let's see what the one Lord says. The heaven is my throne. No, 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 no. The heaven is our throne. The heaven is my throne. Our. My. My throne. This is singular here. The heaven is my throne. The heaven is my throne. And the earth, the earth is my footstool. Oh, heaven and earth belong to just one. The heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Jesus Christ is that one. He's that one. Yahashua HaMashiach is that one. That's right. Yahashua ha Yahashua is, uh, is El and El Elohim and Yah. And that's, that's the same one. Same one. That's the I am, that I am. That's the spirit of Christ that was in the prophets. That's the spirit that moved upon the face of the deep. deep. That's who man was made in the image of. Oh. That's right. That's right. You get me? Amen. Remember, go back to Genesis. Let me close out. Back in Genesis chapter 17. I'm not done. I'm just going to knock off. Amen. Hopefully you. Now remember, whenever we webcast, it's automatically recorded on YouTube that same night. Yeah. So if you miss anything, you can go back home or go to your hotel and turn YouTube on and hear the same thing immediately. That's right. And look at the people holler all over the all over the broadcast. That's right. I love it when you folk holler. You don't bother me. I don't get angry. I love it. Yeah. Hey Amen. Like I said, when there's somebody holler, that's a hit dog. That's right. And I'm 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 I'm, I'm determined to drive hard with the Bible and crush the hit dog right up against the wall. That's right. Back up and get in drive and hit him again. Amen. Remember what it says. Genesis 17 and we're at verse 12. What is it? And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. I said the natural. Every man child every, in your every generation. Every man child among you. He that is born in the house. Yes. Or bought with money of any stranger. Which That's is, Gentile. Which is not of thy bought seed. Bought with money. Talking about the slaves. That's right. Bought with money. It's That's dumb right. that's under Abraham's roof outside of Jews. That's right. Not from his seed. No. Listen. Or bought with money of any stranger which is bought not of thy seed. with money of any stranger not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house. In thine house. And he that is bought with thy money. With thy money. Must needs be circumcised. One law. That's it. Both of them that it can be compliant. That's right. Must be circumcised. And my covenant and shall my be covenant in your flesh. Shall be in your flesh. For an everlasting covenant. Go back to Romans chapter 1. Back in Romans chapter 1. 
And or rather, chapter two, chapter I believe two. it is. Yes, Romans yes. chapter two. Listen at this. And we're at verse 28. Says what? For he is not a Jew, he which is, is not one a Jew, outwardly. Which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. See, he's talking about now a whole different kind of circumcision. That's right. It already addressed outward Jew. Outward Jew. Fleshy circumcision. Paul already addressed it. That's right. And now he show you another kind. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly. Yes. Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. Yes. But he is a Jew. You see this? Amen. He is a Jew. Which is one inwardly. Which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart. Yes. In the spirit. Yes. And not in the letter. But what? Whose praise is not of men but of God. You Hebrew brothers, that's all on your podcast talking about the preacher that stole some man's wife. You're talking about a Jew, aren't you? Now just answer me. He was fighting Pastor Jennings. Tell me, is that the actions of a Jew? Of a Jew. Or are you criticizing him because he act out the actions of an unclean, dirty Gentile? That's right. Acts 238, I'll wait your answer. <laughs> That's right. You can answer me over there. Yeah. You can still yell, he's your brother. That's fine. I don't disagree with that. But his actions, actions. is that the actions of a Gentile of a, or a holy Jew? That's right. Jesus is right. Jesus you is better right. give me uh, the 10th chapter, yeah. quick, of the book of Mark. That's right. Real quick. St. Mark chapter 10. Listen at what Jesus says. St. Mark chapter 10, and we're at verse 10. Real quick. And in his house... Begin at verse 1. Verse 1. Come on, son. Mark chapter 10 and verse 1. My time is gone here. And he arose from thence and cometh into the coast by, of Judea. Yes. By the farther side of Jordan. And the people resorted unto him again, and, and as he was wont, yes. he taught them again, and the Pharisees came to him. And said what? And asked him, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? Hear this? Tempting him. Tempting him. And he answered and said unto them, what did Moses command? What did Moses command? And they said, Moses suffered to write a bill of divorcement and to put her away. Yes. And Jesus answered and said unto them, for it, the hardness it, of your heart. the Messiah. That's right. Man, we either believe what he said or we don't. That's and right. don't tell me he's equal to Moses. He's better than Moses. Oh, yes. Listen. And Jesus answered and said unto them. Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, he wrote you to do it. He wrote you this precept. Yes. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. Uh -huh. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Yes. And they twain shall be one, one flesh. flesh. So then they are no more twain but one flesh. One flesh. But therefore God has joined Let together. Let that man put And up. in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter. Yes. And he saith unto them, Whosoever. Oh, listen, listen. Mark chapter 10 and verse 11. Whosoever. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Shall put away his wife. And marry another. And marry another. Committeth adultery against her. Tell me, is that the actions when one dis obeyed that is that the action of a gentile right that's an unclean thing that's right listen whosoever shall put away his wife yes and marry another what is it committeth adultery against her what did the messiah say and if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another she committeth adultery go to church you can shout now <laughs> speak in tongue now Acts 2 38 then Peter said unto them, repent. There it is. That's it. Everything, repent. every everything here. Here in this part of New York, got to get ready to obey this. Mr. and Mrs. Center, I don't care what color That's you right. are. This night, you got this to obey, this God night. says. Then Peter said unto them, repent. When you repent, and be you convict it within your heart. That's right. About the sins you committed. What sin? All of them. Oh, yes. Not some of them, all of them. All of them. Repent. And be baptized, be every baptized one of you. baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission for of sins. For the sins. removing of your sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody want to obey the word of God tonight? Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ like the apostle instructed us. Yes. Stand on your feet, New York. If you want to be baptized, wonderful. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Amen.
Brother Cole and Brother Mike, get y'all something ready. Both of you. Both of you, get yourself ready. Look at the Jew and the Gentile getting ready to go down in water. In the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, in the name of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. Jew and Gentile is doing it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is the Lord's doing. Oh, yes. All of this is the Lord's doing. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. We thank God for you. Come back tomorrow. Prayer begin at 11 o'clock. Again, we sorry if this this downtown crowded, wild, wicked area. <laughs> it hindered a lot of people because no parking. And uh, believe me, New York was called oh, man. Mm. Everything you wanted to see, you saw it. <laughs> and what you didn't want to see, you saw it. Amen. <laughs> now you come on back at 11 o'clock. We'll be webcasting live again, viewers. You come on back. And tune in again to the truth of God. Yes, brother. What is that? All right. You that want prayer, that are sick, come to my right real quick. You that are sick, you that are not sick, come to my left. Go on my left. You that are sick, get on my right. You that's your brothers, all you brothers, move over. All to my left that just want prayer to my left. You that are sick. <sighs> to my right. All right. You to my left. I'll pray for you first. Just wait a minute. Let me pray first. All right. You that are sick. Let me get prayer. Let me get y'all prayed for first. And then you, I mean, you that just want prayer. You that are sick. You remain standing so I can anoint you with oil. The Bible says if there's any sick among you, Hallelujah. call for the elders of the church, anointing them with oil. So I have to anoint you with oil. If they are not sick, let me pray for you first. Let us pray. Eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you. For your divine wisdom and your perfect understanding of all things, look down upon the many brothers and sisters that are present here. Give them the desires of their heart according to your divine will and purpose. Straighten out every condition. Look upon them and look upon their families. Draw the family's mind, heart, soul, and spirit towards the word of God that they may be willing to have their hearts circumcised through and by the preaching of the word. Everybody that is standing here tonight, grant unto them their desires. But let it be according to your divine will. Strengthen them where they're weak. Mend that which is broken. And build them up wherever they are torn down. Let your peace and your mercy be upon them. These blessings we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let every heart say amen. amen. You that I just prayed for, please be seated. You be seated now. All of you be seated. You that need... That are sick, I get you after. You be seated. All right, be seated. I get, I get you after. All right, let's be seated. I only can do one thing at a time. All right. All of you that need prayer that are sick, y'all can kind of move over. I'm going to have to come up some so I can reach you. All 
I don't want to miss nobody. So let, let the ones move up, come up if they can. You that got your head anointed, just step back. Let the ones that have it come to the front. Come on. Remain standing. Let's pray. Eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, look upon the brothers and the sisters, whatever ailment they may have. From the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, by the effectual working of your great divine power, please give healing. Whatever sickness in the body, in the mind or in the soul or the spirit. Eternal God, give them healing and give them deliverance. <coughs> Move every, every ache and every pain out of their body. Bound every contrary spirit and cast out every foul spirit that may be among them. God of heaven, Lord Jesus, we know that with you all things are possible. Increase their faith. Increase, hallelujah, their belief. Touch them in every manner they stand in need of. Let your peace be upon them. By the effectual working of your great power, these blessings we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let every heart say amen. amen. Remain standing. We are closed with prayer. Eternal God, again, we thank you for your divine wisdom, for your perfect understanding of all things. Bless everyone that is present. We thank you for your word. Give us all a safe journey back to our destinations till we meet again. Keep us and preserve us in thine perfect will. Bless us and stand by us. In the name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, let every heart say amen. amen. God willing, we see you tomorrow.